So there's been lots of discussions today about mobility and the impact that that has on, um, on the web. Um, so he's trying to move to radical transparency here. So the mobile phone really is transforming how we think about uh, shopping, right? How many folks have seen uh, customers in the store with their cell phones shopping, right? That is, there's radical transparency now, more than there's ever been before, right? And it's, mobile phones are really serving as the bridge between brick and mortar and, in, and online retail like never before, right? How many folks have seen the barcode readers the, and, the, and the QR readers that, that you can shop now, whether it's Savvy Shopper or, you know, for us, the, uh, uh, the ultimate uh, vampire is Amazon, right? Um, they just in, put a uh, UPC barcode reader in their app uh, last week. Um, you know, and us, our biggest nightmare is folks using that app on a UPC code inside of Home Depot and then shopping from Amazon and just using our stores as a showroom. So radical transparency, right, is a big, big deal. Plus, you've got location-based systems now. We talked about, you know, we talked about in the video, whether it's Facebook Places or Foursquare or Gowalla, right, these sorts of things where folks are checking in and communicating back and forth and trying to find your closest stores or finding where the best prices are, just, you know, mobile, and it's the radical transparency it's bringing to the business is just incredible. And then customers demanding control, right? Social networks like Facebook and Twitter Right? They really changed the game, right? Folks expect open conversations, open dialogue, transparency in their communications. And if you don't embrace that, then they're just going to go somewhere else, right? And so there's a great example, I'm not sure if folks have seen this, but uh, when the oil, Gulf oil spill occurred, uh, British Petroleum didn't even have a, a Twitter handle. And uh, somebody down in the, uh, in the Gulf area, uh, an antagonist, uh, put this uh, BP public relations uh, handle out there has over 180,000 followers, as you can see. And they started to tweet about the Gulf oil spill and really did it in kind of an authentic, real, genuine um, way. So BP, uh, late to the game, reacted and put the, the one on the right you see out there. And they only have 18,000 followers. Um, so it's interesting, a couple of tweets that I'll, uh, I'll highlight here that I just, uh, as I was flipping through the other night, that I found interesting. Um, so here's a couple from the left-hand side from the BP Public Relations. Lightning never strikes twice. Luckily, the same rules do not hold true for our drills. Another one. Black sand beaches are very trendy in some places. We upgraded you, Gulf of Mexico. And all these are, all these are obviously have twit pics where the person's down in the Gulf and they're taking pictures of things and tweeting them out there. You know, and then you look at the kind of what folks will call more branded uh, tweets from the other side. Today's life briefing with the Admiral will begin shortly. Stay tuned. You know, an estimated 15,000 sea turtle hatchings were saved yesterday due to the relocation during the Gulf oil spill, right? So just goes to show you, consumers expect authenticity, they expect open communication, they're very quick to share their experiences, and they generally don't trust brands, right? And so if you're not a brand that understands that, embraces it, and basically builds around what consumers are expecting in the next 15, 20 years, right, that you're going to have the same issue, right, where the customers are going somewhere else. I thought this was a great, a great example. So as we think about these four things and how they're impacting our business and impacting retail, here's uh, some things that how we're kind of building technology and capabilities. So the first thing we're doing is we're saying, hey, we have to be multi-channel, right? And multi-channel is really a capability around being channel agnostic and being able to deliver from any channel based on what the customer wants. Accessibility, always being able to be accessible from, from anywhere, anytime, and then personalized project experiences. So just a little bit more about each one of those. So customers don't, ex customers don't want to hear, they don't want to know about multi-channel, they don't even want to know about the word. But they want to know that you can get the product wherever you want it from wherever they are, right? So they may go into your store, shop, and then expect you to be able to deliver to their home. They may be go online and then expect you to have it delivered to their home, or they may go online and expect you to be able to deliver it to the store and have it picked up there. They expect that. They also expect access to any of your products, right? Not just the 25,000 we have in our store, but the 135,000 and growing that we have online. And so multi-channel for us is really about building capabilities and seamlessly interconnecting all of our order management systems, all of our back-end systems, and our front-end systems to allow the customer to shop when and how they want. 
The other thing is accessibility, right? So folks expect to be able to go online, look at your product, go into a store and buy, right? They expect to be able to go on their website, as we talked about earlier in one of the videos. Go on your website while they're in the store and get additional information and additional uh, reviews, ratings, etc. They expect to be able to interact with kiosks potentially on your site. They expect when they go on Facebook that they're going to have the ability to interact with your brand and interact with your products. And so what we're trying to do is to make sure that we think about all those platforms and build all those platforms on a seamless, uh, seamless set of services and technology platforms to allow the customer to interact with us when and how they want. Forrester just recently came out with an article and uh, Simmons talked about over 60% of their customers are uh, going online before they come in the store and it's very much the same with us. And Forrester in fact said that the average customer will interact with your brand two times via two different platforms before they purchase. Could be the web, could be a browser, could be a kiosk, you know, and then everyone's uh, hopefully read a lot about Google TV and Apple TV and you know, and then I talked to my team, this time next year it's not going to be uncommon for someone to be sitting there watching a football game going, okay, split screen, right, these 52 inch screens are going to become much more like your uh, screens that you use for work. They're going to slide it over and use about 40 inches of that to watch the football game. They're going to pull up Home Depot. They're going to build their shopping list, right, because everybody knows you've got to go to the Home Depots, the Targets of the World on your Saturday afternoon stock up visit. You're going to pick the 10, 15 items that are on your list. You're going to then say, hey, I'll pick that up in an hour and a half during halftime. You're going to click order. Then you're going to get close the screen, watch the rest of your game, maybe open it back up to watch your fantasy football team and how it's doing. And then you're going to go at halftime to the store and expect it to be picked up. And that's not two, five years away. That's going to be next year. The folks haven't seen the Google TV go online and take a look at one of the ads. But it's not one of those things where you have to have an additional plug-in, additional source to go in. It plugs seamlessly between your cable box and your television. You can surf the web very easily, do picture in picture. Uh, it's an incredible device and one that's going to, I think, will have the same uh, embracement as an iPad will. Um, and it's really going to change accessibility and the way folks expect to be able to, uh, to go online and, and to, uh, to, to shop.